Uh, Coach Drew Richards, a 70 to 68 win over Virginia State today. Just uh, opening remarks. Yeah, I mean, uh, kind of another tale of the same thing. Good, some good, some bad. Um, still haven't figured out why in the second half we don't come out like we're supposed to and, and kind of push leads out instead of letting them go away. Um, it has a lot to do with our defense. Um, too many turnovers. Uh, Virginia State's a good team. They're big. They're physical. Um, they hit some tough mid-range jump shots down the stretch, but you know, finding a way to gut it out at the win at the end. Um, Brad had some big plays, big free throws. Juan had obviously had a big take. Nye was rebounding, so we had some some good. We're just trying to search for answers on how we can get better in the second half right now. Juan, that game winner affected that play. Um, it was like nine seconds, so I knew I didn't have that much time, so I just tried to get downhill and make a play. Yeah. Coach, what'd you see on that play, and what'd you? Draw up in the timeout. Well, I was screaming at him, go, <laughs> most of the time, because we're trying to get an offensive rebound. So, I mean, luckily we ran kind of a little horns action. Um, the big didn't show, and, and Juan took advantage of it. And honestly, I don't know how that shot went in. I thought I thought it was a miss three times, and then it just popped in. So, I mean, it was a huge play. Um, you know, each of these guys and, and some other guys made some big time plays. Um, but we just got to be a little more consistent right now. Yeah, and then Nigel, you hit the three with about a minute left, put you guys ahead at that point. Um, take me to that play as well. Uh, really, the, my, I wasn't the option on the play, but they overplayed our first option. I left me open in the corner. I just let it fly. Yeah. And, Coach, you mentioned inconsistency. I mean, um, throughout the season, it's kind of been half to half. At times in this game, it was possession to possession, even. Um, what's kind of the takeaway there? Great question. I have no idea. Uh, we're trying to figure it out right now. Um, we've tried a couple of things that obviously isn't working. Um, you know, I think the most frustrating thing is the potential of this team is very high. Um, I just don't think we're taking advantage of reaching that potential right now. So, I, I'm, and I'm trying to get these guys to understand that you know we we don't we don't need to go through any more wake up calls before we figure out what needs to change. And so we're kind of challenging our team individually, staff, everybody to kind of make that change in the second half where we kind of sit down and we gut it out and we're able to get some stops and push the lead out instead of letting it come back on us. And Brad, not pretend at the free throw line, so um, describe your night, especially getting to the line and being successful there. Uh, well, as you can see on the stat sheets, my shot was <laughs> really falling, and I mean, so I just tried to affect the game in other ways, you know. So I got to the line and was able to knock them down. But the coach yelled at me the first game for missing about four or five free throws. But now you can stop turning it over. You can do both, you know. For sure. Okay, cool. <laughs> and um, y'all made a big run there to late in the first half after they had built a lead. Um, what was kind of driving the success there in that run? You know, I thought a, a couple of guys came off the bench, gave us some good minutes. I thought um, I thought Sue Amadou Faye gave us some good minutes in there, um, especially in the first half. Um, I thought G. Uh, Jamarvis Jones gave us some good minutes. So, I mean, it's good to see those guys kind of respond to some to, to getting challenged. Um, now we just kind of need a collective response as a team um, to take kind of that step forward. Uh, you talked about it just a minute ago with Amadou Faye. Five blocks tonight, a couple steals, and some big rebounds. His, uh, his last two games, he's been big on the defensive end. Obviously had that slow start to the year, but how has he been able to maybe work his way into the rotation for you? I mean, he's kind of figured out you got to work hard in practice to get on the court. And I think that was a hard lesson early, especially. Um, you know, we, we don't really allow guys to cut corners around here. We kind of hold everybody to the same accountability level. And I think it took Sue a little bit to realize that. And once he's figured out that, hey, if I actually work hard in practice, if I take care of everything I'm supposed to, I'll get a little bit of clock. And especially with Amari out right now, um, you know, him stepping in and, and having some big defensive possessions there and, and being able to snag some rebounds. And he's got to clean some other stuff up. but. Um, you know, he definitely, in the past, we've always kind of lacked what Sue can bring us. Um, so we just need him to be a little bit better at times. But he definitely has given us a, given us a little bit of push here the last couple of games. And then tomorrow against Columbus State, uh, what can we expect? Well, they're really good. So, um, I mean, they're usually the most, one of the most talented teams we play all year. Um, Coach Moore does a phenomenal job mixing up defenses and running a lot of sets. And so, you know, we're going to have to defend a lot better. You know, rebounding was better tonight, but we're going to have to defend and take care of the ball for us to have an opportunity there. For any of the players, we were talking off camera about um, how when tomorrow get to five and three through this opening stretch, how big that can be for you guys. Um, uh, I could say just just continuing this streak we on. My previous years, we've been on a winning streak throughout the. Um, Year, so I don't know if that's like the getting us over the hump part or 
I don't know what it is, but I know keeping up victories and getting this big next one will be big. All right. That's it. Thanks, guys. Thank you.